No wonder then that Father Ben tells us that in his work with some 400 municipalities in the country, in provinces like Maguindanao, Sarangani, Polo, and Sulu, among others, the top of mind response of teachers as to the biggest need of their students is, and I quote, a feeding program for the most undernourished children who are either absent or just fall asleep in class. As we reflected on these heartbreaking stories during some of our mainstream learning activities, such as the Graduate School of Business Student Leadership Workshops, we became puzzled. We became puzzled as to why so pervasive a foundational issue was not accorded the requisite priority in the allocation of resources for education. Surely one does not have to be a neurologist or even a doctor to recognize that malnutrition significantly, if not permanently, compromises a child's brain, which is after all the seat of learning. The default mode of prioritizing allocation of resources to more and better teachers, instructional material, and classrooms is understandable. But the strategic inattention to malnutrition of school children by decision makers in the hierarchy of the education sector who I assume have nothing but the best of intentions for building the intellectual capability of our people needs to be confronted. How does one explain the blind spot? For us, the answer was provided by Father Ben in his commencement address to the, added, to the graduates of the Ateneo Graduate School of Business and School of Government on August 1st, last year. He said, and I quote, the main reason is that the decision makers, including ourselves, do not go down and see. We have kind of apartheid, not by law, but by choice. And because we do not see, we cannot care. A week ago, some of us from each of the four professional schools saw and heard for ourselves exactly the same answers from administrators, teachers, and parents of students from four public elementary schools in Quezon City that we visited. The name of the puzzle is disconnectedness. In the past six months, some of us in these professional schools have thought through, felt about, and acted upon our obsession with the challenge of disconnectedness in our public school system. This Congress acts on that obsession by calling the public's attention and from there invites everyone to move forward with us in meeting the challenge. Our response entitled Blue Plate for Better Learning 4K Feeding Program will move forward along the following lines. 
first. Since education is so foundational to our development as a nation, a way must be found to get all levels of the citizenry to be so engaged. Second, given the enormity of the challenge, the response must move up to scale and with urgency and be sustainable. Third, the above two require a systemic and systematic way of proceeding. Discipline, inclusive, relentless, and inspired. In Mel Oration's presentation that follows, she will give you details on that which has happened namely ACED's experience in, feed, in feeding 40 undernourished children in seven public elementary schools in Quezon City, and the many lessons learned from that experience. Second, that which is about to happen in March this year, that is expanding the venture to cover 400 undernourished children. And third, that which will take off in June this year. That is elevating the number to 4,000. With this venture serving as a model which can be adopted in any community anywhere in this country. One final note. You may have noticed my use of certain words articulated very robustly. Obsession. Systemic and systematic. Scale and sustainable. Discipline. Inclusive. Relentless. Inspired. The choices are deliberate. The explanation, quite simple. Father Ben ends his 18th year as university president in March. Of the many and varied achievements and contributions he has made to Philippine education. We believe his work with basic education in the public school system is closest to his heart. Therefore, we in the Ateneo Professional Schools join him in this venture to, to say thank you rather than goodbye. Finally, in all the years that he has been with us, he has taught us with words and ideas, yes, but above all by his example, that our individual giftedness must be used to build institutions and communities in the service of building this nation. By choosing this field of engagement and in engaging in the manner we have chosen, we honor Father Ben as leader, as teacher, as friend, and as fellow citizen. Thank you. For those of you who are standing, there are a lot of seats in front.